Hello everyone, welcome to Calm Time, an experimental game made by a collaboration between Revolab, Ivan Zanotti's My Madness Works, and Bellini Virgil. It was developed in one week for Game Jolt Contest 10 and is totally free. Link to where you can check it out for yourself will be in the description. I want to thank Gravity Guy, one of my viewers, for telling me about it. So, as always, I like to think about and sort of analyze the games that I play, so I'll be doing a bit of that as I play through it, and especially towards the end. So, it says, an, it says it's an experimental game, but I think it has a large horror sort of bent to it, so prepare yourself. I think that's all there is to mention before I get going, so let's go. Begin. I live in a small cottage, isolated from the town. Silence is law in such a place. My home is almost something akin to an inescapable prison. While the chirping of the sparrows and the breath of the wind are my sole companion. I like the sound of the wind. Here we go. So just right off the bat, one of the things I really like about it is the the graphic style, the, the artistic style of the highly pixelated, yet still 3D graphics. That's interesting to, be, be, interesting to me because most of the games that I play that have sort of a pixel art look are typically 2D, but this is actually 3D. Yeah, I haven't experienced a lot of sort of 3D pixel art. But it works. It really works. I like it. So I'm assuming this is my home. My isolated home. And it looks like we're having maybe some sort of a dinner party. Judging by this gigantic table, all of the people and all of the plates and cups and whatnot that are out here. I wonder what that's a painting of. I can't even tell. Looks like a vaguely humanoid figure at the bottom of it. Let's go... Let's go mingle with some of the guests. Hello, D. Hello, my... 2D sprite-like friend. I didn't want to come here. I miss my mom. Wait, then... Who brought you here? You're a kid, so I'm assuming you didn't come on your own. Listen, my mobile doesn't work here. Is there something you can do about that? Uh... No? I, I don't have my own cell phone tower that I can activate on demand. If that's what you mean. I didn't think there was a cottage nearby. Although I dress up so nicely, men avoid me rather than approaching me. I feel so lonely. I guess he has nothing to say. Man, this party is such a bore. When are the other guests supposed to come? Okay, well I can already see the horror bent to this. We're in an isolated cottage. With no cell phone coverage. Yeah. Oh, it's just the same thing she said before. Can we get something on the, on the tube? Nope. That's a deer. I don't even know what that is. That could be anything. Can I go to sleep? It's very strange that you can't see out the windows. I wonder if that's on purpose. Or just some sort of technical limitation. There's nothing out there. Maybe it's supposed to be closed? Or is the outside just a void? Hmm. My best compliments for your home. It's truly beautiful. Why, thank you. Oh, there's a basement. 
Let's not go down there just yet. Basements typically are horrifying things in horror games. That's where all the bad stuff happens. Oh, I can open the... Is this the front door? There are guests in my house. I can't leave them. Oh. Hello. I'm happy to help with dinner. Oh, well, thank you. Looks like... What is that? An apple? Yeah, it's got to be an apple. Hmm, there's a knife. Gotta keep that in mind, just in case I need it. Let's go upstairs before I go down. So that's the basement, right? Yeah. Did I go back here? No, I haven't. Ooh, it's a harp! Oh, can I play it? Can I play the harp? Aww, I can't. What the heck are those two knob things? They're blue and red for some strange reason. And that is an exceptionally small shower. All right, let's go upstairs. There are guests in my house. I can't leave them. Oh. Can I go downstairs, or do I have to do something with them? What can I do? I think I've already talked to all of them, haven't I? Yeah, they're guests in my house. I can't leave them. Let's go talk to them again. Oh god, you're in the couch. What? You, you're inside of the couch. Thank you. I didn't think there was a cottage nearby. Yeah, I've already talked to him. I think I've talked to everyone. Hey, did you know that those pieces of old technology you have here are pretty interesting? If you're ever selling something, let me know. Well, I don't think I want for money, so I'm good. Hey, did you notice that girl in the kitchen? I may hit on her. Uh, okay. If you want to, go for it. Why would you tell me that? You don't look like a bad person. I like you. Aw, thank you. I like you too, my green-headed friend. Is... or green-haired? Is that hair? No, it's probably a beanie or something. Although, why would you be wearing warm clothing? When she's just wearing a dress with, like, a partially exposed back. Either she's really cold or you're really warm. Indeed, a very beautiful cottage. You truly are a person of aesthetics. Let's go back to the kitchen. You know, to be honest... I shouldn't be here. Have you seen the kid in, in some other room? I'm supposed to babysit him. But as soon as I knew about this party, I couldn't help but come. Could you pass me that knife on the table, please? I'll cut the bread so we can serve it. Oh. What, why do I feel like something horrible is going to happen as soon as I pick up the knife? Here we go. Uh, why is the knife in a stabby, stabby position? This isn't how you hold a knife to give to someone. Mr. Unnamed Protagonist, or perhaps Antagonist? How come when I left click I make a stab motion? I think I'm going to give her the knife, but not in the way that she expects. Could you pass me that knife on the table, please? It doesn't seem I can. Is anyone alarmed by the fact... Oh no, I can't even leave the room. There's an invisible wall. I guess I have to 
pass her the knife. I can crouch. That's not gonna help me do anything. Okay. Here's the knife you wanted. You killed her. Yes. Yes, I did. Oh my god, you stabbed her. You killed her. Okay, they're all running. Press control to calm yourself. I'm not sure if I'm the one that needs to remain calm. Where did you go? I guess I'm a murderer. That's why I invited them here. To stab them all. I need to go down in the basement to cut the power. Oh, good idea. This is a very large basement. Anyone dead? Oh. Is that oh my god. I have someone chained up in the basement. Holy shit. Is she alive? I don't think she's alive. I can't talk to her. I think that's just a corpse. Ew. You look like her. I don't think you're real. She's staring at me. Go away. Stop looking at me. Anyone still up here? Hello? Oh, are they trying to flee? Let me guess, there's a gigantic gate, and it's locked. It is a very big cottage after all. What's that sound? It's her again. I could try stabbing her, but why? She's creepy, but she's not hurting me, so I'm not going to. Anyone hiding here? No one. The last thing they'll hear is the rhythmic tapping of my feet. Plink, plonk, plink, plonk. Is that... Here they are. I need to call the cops. Did he see me? Yeah, good luck calling the cops. What did you say about your reception? Oh, it seems there's no cell phone towers out here. Too bad. Go away, you bastard! They saw me. Can I play on the slide? I'd love to play on the slide. I can't play on the slide. That's a shame. It's a tennis court or whatever they call this thing. That sound. It's gotta be her again watching me. Where are you? Yep, the front gate is nice and locked up tight. Oh, there's someone. I wonder 
how I can get close to him. Is he looking at me or away from me? I think he's looking at me. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, ooh, it's his back, it's his back. And got him. Go away, you bastard. Oh, he's not quite dead yet. Oh, you're leaving a trail of blood, buddy. I'm gonna know exactly where you are. I'm coming for you. Drip, drop, your lifeblood spilling out. Where did you go? Oh, you went back inside, didn't you? Yes, you did. There you are. I'll come back here. What the hell do you want from me? I want you dead. Did you? Oh. There we go. I'm bleeding. Yes, you are, and you're also sliding on the ground? What the hell are you doing? There we go. Oh, it's her again. I guess she's judging me. I know there's at least one more of you out here. Man with the cell phone that has no reception. Where are you? He's got to be nearby. This place isn't that big. Unless maybe he went inside too. Maybe he went inside. Even though I didn't stab him. He probably did. I'm going to go back inside. Unless he went in here. No. Yep, he must be inside. All the better. It's more confined. Maybe he went upstairs. Look at the stars. It's a beautiful night. a picture of a dog or a painting. Rough, rough.
I keep thinking there's someone behind me. Oh no, there you are. Hmm, she's looking right at me though. Come back here. She's judging me again. Oh, hi. That's a really creepy photo. Or picture. I mean, or painting. Whichever it is. Ugh. Let's play the piano before killing him. Plink plonk. Okay, that was fun. Go on, hide in a room. See how far it gets you. Downstairs, huh? Now, which blood trail is yours? Oh, it's the kid. I'll save you for last. blood trail is yours? Did you go back outside? It's either that or you went into the kitchen. I think he went outside. Where? Hmm. Maybe not. There'd be a blood trail. And I don't see one. Nope, I don't think he did. He did go downstairs, didn't he? He could have gone into the basement, I suppose. I'm just gonna go past you. Oh, hi! There's no escape! You're in a corner! Or maybe there is escape. Oh, no one's going to help you. Your babysitter's dead. Crap, did they go outside? They probably went outside. Yep. They went outside. Oh, there you are. There she is again.
I know they're out here. I know it. Oh. You can actually walk faster if you hold down shift. I didn't know that. I looked at the controls and I don't think that was listed. Good to know, that speeds things up a lot. Maybe they didn't come outside. I thought they did. Where are they then? Where did you go? There was two of them. The kid and the guy with the glasses. They ran out of that room and went over in this direction. Oh. There you are. I'm still saving you for last. Maybe the other guy went into the basement. Nope. She really does look like the woman who keeps appearing, doesn't she? Same dress. Did they go upstairs, maybe? I think I, I guess must have gone upstairs. I think there's only two people left, the guy with the glasses and the kid. Oh, there he is. Got you anyway, come back here. What the fuck? I don't like you. You're judging me. You're scaring me. One left. You're the last one, little kid. Come back here! Where did you go? Where did you go? Damn it. He's slippery. I think he went outside. Outside or upstairs, I think. Let's try outside.
Hmm, maybe he went upstairs. No! Oh, right there, right there, right there! You're so fast! Okay, he went inside. I saw that much. What the, where the hell did you just come from? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I live in a small cottage, isolated from the town. Silence is law in such a place. My home is almost something akin to an inescapable prison. Well, the chirping of the sparrows and the breath of the wind are my sole companion. I like the sound of the wind. So calm. <laughs> oh god, that's it. <laughs> that's the end. Calm time. Calm time. It's so calm. Oh, look, in the background is the woman who's, like, tied up and dead. Holy crap. Well, that's a very disturbing game. Let's dig into it a bit. Where to start? Um, let's just start with the graphics. And let's ignore the murder part for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like the graphic style. Like I said at the beginning, having sort of pixel art but in a 3D form is something interesting that I haven't encountered very much. Typically pixel art is 2D. And having it in 3D form is actually very interesting and I like it. Yeah, the only other sort of 3D sort of pixel art, if you, if you can even call it that. I'm not sure if pixel art is the right term, but the only other sort of 3D pixel art game that I can think of is Teleglitch. And even that is from a sort of 2D-ish perspective, almost. So it's not super obvious that it's even 3D, but it is, I think. So yeah, I really like the graphics. And the graphic style. Uh, the sound is... Uh, it's minimalist. There's not that much there. What is there is good, but I think more definitely would have been... Would have been nice, but of course this is a sort of... A game jam game, so they had a very limited amount of time to make it in. Um... I guess let's just dig into the main... the meat of it. You are a murderer. That is your character. You are the bad guy. Well, I mean, there's no reason to... I guess there's no reason for me to use air quotes around bad guy. You are undoubtedly a bad guy. Since you are a murderer. Who apparently invites everyone around to your cottage for some sort of a dinner party or something and then kills them all. It's... It's very disturbing to be put in that role. Very. It's not too common that you play a bad person in a game. Typically, obvious, you know... Most games, you're fighting against evil, or something like that. You're defeating the foes. But in this case, you are the foe. It's interesting. It's... It's strange how, even though I had no choice, as far as I could tell, at least, I had no choice but to kill them. The only alternative, I guess, would be not playing the game. But, as far as, say, just leaving, or letting them leave, I don't think that was an option. Trying to use the gate did nothing. And I think that's the only way you could possibly let them out. It seems like you had to kill them. So the interesting thing is, despite the fact that the game didn't allow me to do anything but be the bad guy, in other words, I didn't choose to be bad, but I had to be. Despite that, it was still disturbing to play as that character, because you're still, to some degree, you're still doing those actions. It's weird, there's kind of a, sort of a lack of ownership over the actions I was doing because I was kind of forced into it, but somehow it, it still was, I still felt a part of it enough, 
I still felt responsible enough that it was still very disturbing to murder these helpless people. So somehow it managed to be disturbing despite the fact that you're kind of forced into it. Very interesting. Very dark. Very disturbing. Especially killing a child. I mean, I don't think I get as bent out of shape about a violence surrounding children as some people do. As you know, some games have basically either been... Like, they've had the child violence either censored or they've just specifically designed around even having it. Like, for example, I think the Fallout games, uh, the original Fallout 1 and 2, I think they had... I think they cut out the children. Didn't they, like, just remove all of the children so that you couldn't possibly kill them? I think it was some sort of a ratings issue and there was a patch to... Like, an unofficial patch to put it back in. And I know the way some... Some games handle it is they have the children be invincible, so you can't even kill them. So there's a lot of sensitivity around violence in children. Understandably. I don't think it bothers me as much as maybe it would with most people, but it still is disturbing. It Honestly, it is more disturbing. Like, killing the child in this game was more disturbing than killing the other people. It's still disturbing to kill the other people, don't get me wrong. You're still killing helpless people who don't deserve to die by any means. But it was extra disturbing to kill the child. It's a very disturbing role to be put in put in the shoes of. I'm not sure what to say about it other than that, other than it's disturbing. I kind of like that it did something so disturbing. Most games would shy away from that. You can only imagine if some sort of AAA game just allowed you to kill children. You'd probably see headlines on the news very quickly. You know, game allows you to kill children. And then some sort of other sensationalistic sensationalistic crap. So, yeah, I mean, it, it takes guts to do that, to have that in your game. Let's see, is there anything else I can say? Um, I guess the only other things I could say is that it felt, uh, just to analyze it a bit more, it felt a bit tedious to be going around such a relatively large environment when you can move not very fast and searching for these people. I think that was not so much an issue once I discovered that you can actually sprint, which surprised me because I don't think it mentions that in the controls. Let me check. I actually wrote down the controls here. Let me check. No, no, the controls actually don't say that you can use shift to do, do anything. It's just WAC to move, E to interact, control to calm yourself, in other words, crouch, and left click to interact. So it doesn't even mention the shift. I, I think if I knew that from the onset, it maybe wouldn't have been as tedious walking around the fairly large environments. But yeah, that was a main, uh, that was a, a minor issue. Uh, the only other thing is I... It was a bit strange how in the beginning when you first pick up the knife and you have to give it to her so she can cut the bread, how there's an invisible wall that prevents you from leaving the main room. I understand that they were trying to have the story happen in a very specific way where everybody else witnesses you murder her. And if you could just waltz out into the main room with a knife in your hand, that would produce issues with the story, but... Uh, having an invisible wall is really... It just feels very, I don't know, weird, cheesy, like it's such a... It's such a break in the immersion to have an invisible wall just prevent you from going somewhere. So that was a little bit strange. That's really all I can think of. It was good. It was pretty damn good and very disturbing. Very, very disturbing. Okay, well, I hope everyone enjoyed watching me murder a bunch of people. Thank you for watching.